All right, so I know I've been gone for a little while, but I'm back. I'm gonna try to post as much as I can. I've been away for a while, so I've been working a lot, traveling a lot, and I've loved it, a lot of good money, but it's been a lot of time consumption. So I'm sorry I haven't posted a video, but I'm back here trying to post videos. So we're just gonna talk about the stock market and kind of the way we're gonna see it. So, I mean, again, stock market hasn't been too great it's been kind of stagnant so it's been coming up and down um one thing i did talk about was when exxon mobile kind of dropped a good little chunk bit that's when i ended up buying and i did a good little swing trade here so i made a couple you know thousand dollars there and i mean for me honestly it's one of the best times to invest because the stock market is a bit stagnant and like that if you're investing into dividend stocks mainly then you're making money right now. Now, is it a positive thing that the market is like this? Um, it is to an extent, but it isn't to an extent. Why? Because um, what's affecting this is a shitty presidency. Biden has honestly been the worst president we've ever had. Um, he's been a shit show. If you voted for him, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> um, and the reason I say that is because of what's been happening with Afghanistan. I mean, that's just pathetic you know he's allowing our troops to die he just abandoned people kind of what happened back in 2012 with hillary clinton and um obama where they just let soldiers there to die and that's pathetic i mean you know i don't like being political in this channel or any way but i'm gonna point that out because i respect our troops i respect our freedom and biden's being a complete shit show and that's the reason it's been reflecting in the stock market the stock market has been showing what Biden has been doing. And people are like, oh, the market's gone up today, went up, or I mean, it went up, what, yeah, today. And it really hasn't, you know, it's been kind of stagnant. Like I said, it hasn't really been going up. It's been up and down, but it's mainly stayed stagnant. And that's because we still have a strong economy, but it's going to keep coming down a little more and more because of all that money printing. Now, Biden is, like I said, he's just a complete shit show. He's been destroying our economy, so we have to prepare for a weak few years. Um, honestly, like I say, if you like him, you can like him. If you hate him, then hate him, whatever. I mean, for you, you have to look into yourself. You have to always focus on yourself and nobody else. Don't think that anybody else is going to make you money. You make your own money. Okay, and like I say, that's why I always say um, I'm not here giving you any kind of financial advice. I'm just feeding you wisdom so you guys can get that information, teach yourselves, and learn how to make money in the market. Now, not every stock is going up in the market, right? Or not every stock is making money in the market. For me, I pick certain dividend stocks because I know those are the ones that are giving me money. Those are the ones that have been consistent. And as we predicted back in November, um, we knew all of this was going to happen. There has been many people out there that were investing and trading. And again, guys, where are they now? They're kind of quiet. They've been my critics. And I've said this throughout my whole time taking out videos. I said, this is going to happen like this. This is going to happen like this. And people are like, hey, you don't know what the heck you're talking about. You don't know what you're saying. Blah, blah, blah. Right. So, I mean, we've constantly talked a lot about these stocks. I mean, AMC has still stayed pretty, you know, again, stagnant. It hasn't blown up like everybody said it was. Um, same thing with GameStop, you know. It hasn't blown up the way that everybody thought it was going to blow up. And people are like, hey, it's going to hit a thousand. It's going to hit a million or all this nonsense bullshit, right? We've always been realists. I had a lot of criticism. But these are people, yeah, that are holding, right? People are still holding these stocks and they're still investing into them. Um, the shortage is pretty much non-existent there. This is just going to stay like that. People are always going to give me criticism, but again, we've been completely right. Um, there's been many YouTubers out there that have constantly been wrong. And, you know, people had followed them. They lost a lot of money. They're like, hey, you don't know what the heck you're talking about. They do. Look at me now. Look at them now. OK, we ended up saving some money. We waited for this time to happen. And then we started buying into stocks. For me, I started buying into stocks like Apple, Chevron, Exxon Mobil, Realty Income, Altria, ORC, PSEC. When these stocks dropped, I bought a lot of them. Here in Robinhood, I'm not really buying some right now just because I want to keep my um, 
actual investments a bit safe. I have them in a bigger company, which I use Fidelity. Um, so right now I have my money in there, my large investment. And yeah, I'm just letting you guys know that the market is in a bad place. It's going to be in a bad place for a little bit. But again, hopefully a Republican wins in 2022 and 2024, that'll help the market from burning. <laughs> um, Democrats, honestly, like I said, I hadn't, I've never been a political person. I've never supported one side or the other. But the way Democrats have been running this country, it's been a complete, complete shit show. And Biden has honestly been the worst, worst president we've ever had, even worse than Obama. And that shows it in the approval rating. I mean, he's has, I mean, he has a what thirty one percent approval rating. That's the worst in any president in history. So it shows. I mean, he's just horrible. And like I said, if you voted for him, then you're a piece of shit. Just because. I mean, the things he's doing, he's honestly destroying our country. Um. And if you're going to get mad about that and then get mad about it, for me, I'm here speaking facts. That's the reason we're making money because we're here looking at the facts. We're not here getting political. We're not here getting, you know, offended about the dumb little shit that we always talked about. I'm here, like I've always said, I'm here to offend people. I'm here to talk the truth. And people don't like to hear that. But that's the reason we make money because we're constantly speaking the truth. People don't want to hear it, but we're going to speak it no matter what. And I've always said, if you've seen all my previous videos, when I get so much damn criticism, people are like, you don't know what you're talking about. We'll see you in a few months. You're going to be broke. You're going to be poor. I'm like, I've been doing this for, what, 13 years now? And I'm wealthier than any piece of shit that's here on YouTube, right? So the reason for that is because I've always followed the facts, okay? And... You've seen it in the past few months. A lot of people's um, profiles have gone down and mine has been going up. And the reason for that is because I've been honest with myself. Like I said, I don't get political, so I don't say, hey, oh, Biden's going to be the best president. Um, he's not doing anything wrong, so the market's going to keep going up. No, I realized that he was a piece of shit. The market was going to come down. I started saving my money, not buying any more stocks. Market came down, I put money in, market's slowly stabilizing back up, I'm making money, okay? And especially with dividend stocks, if the stocks are moving stagnant, then, you know, when I reinvest the dividends, it's buying more shares at that price. So, I mean, as you see here, Exxon Mobil has actually been down in the past, what was it, year? Now, they've been a little bit up, but three months, they've kind of been, you know, three, six months, they've been a little bit stagnant, okay? So that's the thing with these, that you have to know when to buy into them, when to sell, and stuff like that. But right now, dividend stocks are the way to go just because you're going to see a long-term thing. And people are saying, hey, oil stocks are dead. They are not, guys. Oil is not going to be dead. Gas and oil are not going to be dead for the next 50 years. So again, like I say, they brought Chevron and... Um, Exxon Mobil down. And that's what I'm saying. Don't listen to the fake ass news out there. Why? Because you see in the past, what was it, month? Or it was a few weeks ago or last week, this stock plummeted to like $90. Uh, it's not showing here, but it went up to like $90 and it's been recovering. And why did that happen? It went down about what, $10 and now it's going back up $8 in like a week. It's because the fake news does all this, uh, does this bullshit all the time where they scare you. They want you to sell and then they jump in with big money, stock comes back up and you lose money there and they gain it. So don't fall for that crap, guys. Be patient. If you know that these companies are not going to, you know, die, understand that these have a long term. Fossil fuels are not going to go anywhere anytime soon. Um, electric, um, AV, EV, all that will be the future. But at the moment, it's not. It will be in 50 years, but again, not anytime soon. But that's all I want to talk about in this video. If you guys like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If I offended you, then I can give two shits. Um, again, we're here to make money. We've been making money, and we're constantly going to be making, making more money. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.